Hello everyone and welcome back to the Savage Garage. So before we get started in today's video, um, I've got a couple of little updates just to let you know about before we carry on. The biggest one being that the engine is now removed from Project SRI. My dad came around about a week and a half ago and we went ahead and removed the engine. As you will have seen in previous episodes, uh, I got the engine to the point where it was almost ready to come out. Everything was disconnected and it was just a case of uh, removing the engine mounts and removing the engine. Uh, I got a couple of shots of it but I didn't film everything just because I've done an engine removal video not too long ago and I kind of didn't want to bore you guys with another one. Um, so we did that. Uh, whilst the engine was on the crane I went ahead and removed the oil sump uh, purely because as you'll see in these clips the one on the engine we're going to be putting back in the car uh, doesn't have an, I think it's an oil level sensor or it's an oil pressure sensor. You just need to swap the sumps over uh, it should be a nice quick easy job. Um, apart from that you haven't missed out on too much that's kind of it uh, for the updates. So in my last video you would have seen me do the timing belt on the engine um, had a lot of good feedback on that video so thank you everyone for commenting on that everyone seemed to really enjoy it which is good. So I'm going to carry on sorting out this engine ready to go back in and the next step that I'm going to take is painting the engine. It's not a necessary step by any means um, but when I do things I like to do things properly um, and I like to make sure that things are done to a standard where um, I don't look back and think I wish I would have done that so so I'm just going to give this a lick of paint make it look a little bit more fresh I don't know if you can see but I'll give you a couple of better shots but the whole engine is kind of rusty the paint is peeled um, and it looks pretty tatty and when you look in the engine bay with all the work that's going into this car I kind of want it to be at a standard which I'm happy with so that's what we're going to be doing today we obviously need to clean the engine down uh, make sure that it's ready to receive the paint I'm going to go ahead and paint it in a silver I've actually got the paint already here it's a high temperature engine enamel uh, so it should be perfect for this application. I was going to go with black, but I thought you're not really going to see black when it's in the engine bay. Uh, so I went with silver in the end, so hopefully that'll look pretty good. So without further ado, uh, we'll get on cleaning this engine down, and get rid of all the rust, and give it a lick of paint, and uh, hopefully it'll look a lot better. Let's get to it. So here, as you can see, this is the front of the engine. This is where the exhaust uh, sits. I um, imagine that the block used to be black because there's still some paint remaining on there. But for the most part, it's kind of all rusted off, flaked off. Um, the engine just kind of looks a little bit sorry for itself. It's the same situation on this side, as you can see, the paint is all flaking off there. I know you don't see this side very much, but I'm kind of going to do both sides just for peace of mind. I've got a couple of these wire brush attachments that you can put in a drill. Um, so I'm just going to use them, get rid of the majority of the rust. I'm then going to clean it down with some Auto Glim engine and machine cleaner. Uh, that'll just get rid of any grease or oil that's left um, and then we can go ahead and paint. Okay, so I've been going over this for about 10 minutes. Um, as you can see, it's still rusty, but all the flaky bits are now gone. Um, it's fairly smooth. What I'm gonna do now, it's the same on the other side, by the way, I have cleaned both sides. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it a good clean with some of that machine, anti-grease stuff, um, get all the dust off, try to make the surface as clean as possible. Um, and when it's dry, we can go ahead and apply the paint. Tell me what's inside your head, I don't know if 
It's pain. I'll never have to change you, except a little strange, yeah, that is magic, how cold. Find a hot to keep my cool, cause we're completely drunk in true love. burning fire no more trying to keep it quiet time for me to know the truth tell me what's inside your head i don't know if i should be scared i'm in so deep i just want the food that day when you brought me flowers stayed up till the early hours nothing more i want to do you drop me so insane but i don't regret a thing no So that's the first coat done on the first side. Um, the camera doesn't really do it justice, it kind of looks a bit white on camera, um, but it's a really nice metallic silver. Um, so that's the first coat, I'm going to give it a, let that dry, and then I'll give it another coat. Um, see if the paint looks any better in here. That's kind of the colour it is, nice sort of metallic silver. Um, so it should look pretty good. Now just to do the other side, and we should be good to go. Okay, so that is the painting of the engine done. Um, I'll give you guys a look in just a second, but it's had two coats on both sides. It's come out a really nice silver. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera uh, because the camera likes to pick up as more of a white than a silver. There we go. So you saw it before, all black, rusty, um, and it's now all nice and silver all around the oil filter there. And also on the back side here. I know you're not going to see the backside very much, but I figured I'd do it anyway. So there we go. Nice little short video for you guys today. Um, sorry it's not a really long one, but there's not really a lot to do until this paint is dry. Then I can actually get on with putting stuff back on the engine, um, and it'll be a lot more fun. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like. It really does help out my channel. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Um, a lot of people might say that it's kind of pointless painting the engine. Uh, number one, because I'm not keeping the car. 
and number two because the car's so old um, and it's not worth a lot of money but when I do things I like to do them properly um, and I felt like this was a good way to go. Whether you agree with me or not that's completely up to you but I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless and I'll see you guys in my next video. Tell me what's inside your head I don't know if I should be scared I'm in so deep I just want to prove